Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video it's going me and Super D versus two guys from the Legend Leech and we decided to go in this fight without any boosts. No blue boosts, no red boosts, no gold boosts, just nothing. That was the idea from Super D. <laughs> but okay, let's jump into the battle. I will speed up a little bit in the beginning and let's see what will happen. Yeah, Super D will be too slow on water because with all the construction boost he can't set up his shipyard in the deployment time. And I will have also problems here with the collecting of the containers. So, there we go, let's speed up. So, this guy on my side was not really fast in the beginning, but he got a container on my side of the base. So, there we go. At cube level 2. And here, the yellow player is just in the base from Super D, as he had his first delta out in the water. And his Kaiman tried to build up some mines in front of the shipyard from Super D to kill outcoming chips. So HQ level 3 on my side, let's kill the scout. Torpedo blood from here, from Super D. Yeah, this will be a funny battle. Without boosts. So, I scout out the red player's base now. Let's see what we have. Mm -hmm. Nice formation of buildings. HQ level 3. Sniper tower here, come on. And now let's try to scout out the yellow player's base. Yeah, and you see all this very, very slow. Super to say. All feel very slow. And yeah. It is so. So, Skull from Super D here with this Delta. He not need to um, search for containers on the ocean. The yellow player already got all containers here. So, annoying. Kaimans, now Super D is also going for HQ level 3. He's very late because he lack of resources. So let's speed up. Six supplies, seven supply centers on my side. First one cyclone to scout out the forest for scouts. And then I will jump to Rotex. Yeah, I think it's uh, very interesting to see me and Super D playing without boosts against these two guys and one of those guys have a rate over 80. So these are not noobs. These guys know how to play but they play with gold boosts and they have a rank advantage because I'm still rank 18. But yeah, let's try it. So nobody can say you need this boost. You can also fight without them when you know what you have to do and what situation. So my first cyclone on the hill, vertex comes out and now let's scout out the enemy space but first I will kill this coyote here. And then let's take a look into the red and yellow by space, what's going up. So there we go. Oh, a lot of anti-air. Let's see. He's going for Avia also. And now let's take a look in the yellow player's base. 
Whoa. Let's see how many chips you have. No. Okay, you have some alligator here information. And super D have also now two chipyards level two for Vikings. So some typhoons against the Avia factory. I scouted out. And I will also go for Zeus. Still HQ level 3. I want Super D from this alligators. So this dragonfly nerfed Super D in his base. Killed it without any problems. And non-stop unit production here in my base. So again, I will take a look how many alligators are here. And now you will see one thing. It is impossible to fight without boosts on the ocean against boosts. Because here, yeah, the sea strike boost gives a too high advantage from the range of the chips. You will see it here, the Vikings are not able to shoot while all alligators are shooting on them. So it is impossible here for Super D to make this fight against this guy. Yeah, look at this. The Viking have to go more and near of the alligators before the uh, Viking is able to shoot. So Super D have to go for defense and have to build up some naval platforms but he will build them up without boosts we will fight without boosts also when we are on the way to lose so now i will go for hq level 4 i have only four vortex three typhoons and one zeus out so still hq level 3 in super d space and only five supply centers and they have to build up more Vikings and naval platforms to defend itself now against the masses of alligators. Because these guys play on full gold boosts against it. So now I try something bad. I try to come behind the base of the red player. Bam. To the sniper tower. And now I will try to kill this Avia factory. I located the platform. Oh, a lot of anti air. Yeah, and now why Super D, uh, why Super D need my help? I am out of position to help him. And my Rotex have lack in control. Some of them fly like I wanted it and are safe and won I lost and I can't help Super D now because my Rotex are very much damaged and the anti of the alligators will kill them very easily so again you will see the alligators shoot while the Vikings have to drive into the range before they can shoot so again let's take a look more alligators will come. Super D try to go back in a safe position and bam. So yeah, and this alligators shoot and shoot and shoot and this Vikings, yeah, no. Impossible to fight on the ocean without boosts against boosts. These Vikings are outranged without the Sea Strike boost. Yeah, and I sent my Rotex out, and I know it's a bad idea <clears throat> because the anti air of the Alligators would kill them very easy. And my Rotex are too much damaged to make here something against this. Yeah, no defense boost here. 
And the alligators killed one shipyard, that's very bad. While the red, uh, the yellow player can build up more alligators from two shipyards, Super D have only one shipyard left. And on this map, it's not very easy on the ocean because you have to defend not only one side, you have to defend two sides. So, HQ level 4 Shield, Zeus, Vertex. That's what I am doing in the moment. And Super D try here all to defend himself. He's building up more naval platforms against this guy. And the second shipyard. So it's still non stop unit production in my base. Yeah, and Super they say it's very hard without the Sea Strike boost. Very hard. Against the big range from the alligators. So, let's make a scout with the Vertex. The red player is not coming to me to attack me here. So, second shipyard to level 2. Six supply centers now in Super D's base. And here, yeah, this naval platforms. Will they help him? Oh, he lost two shipyards. I see it now. He lost two shipyards. And yeah, the yellow player is coming here with a lot of alligators. And look what he is doing. That's what I mean. This map is not easy to play on the ocean. Yeah, they drive on the point where Super D have nothing to defend itself. Oh no, he was going for a shipyard level 3. I think that was a mistake, he had to build up more Vikings. I think that was a mistake. But okay, one or two Vikings uh, changed nothing here. Nothing. So, killed one scout here from the red player in the forest. And here, I said to Super D, come on, leave this position. We can do nothing now here. It's over on the ocean. You have to make a base move into a safe position on the land. And I have to try my best to um, hold the position against these two players. The yellow player will change now to the land or to the avia to help out the red player against me. So that means it will be a 2 versus 1. Because Super D needs time to build up his base now. It's very hard to build up your base without any boosts. That means he can't use a recovery boost of the HQ and he can't use a reconstruction boost. And the fact that he can't use a reconstruction boost is very hard. Because he have to build up all things, construction yards, supply centers and energy centers, slowly and slowly, and with the resources we have left. So, and there we'll try to attack the red player now. I have to do it now. I must, because it's two versus one now. And I have to bring out the one player here from the game. Yeah, that's also very hard now for me because I am outranked. The red player is around 20. Bam. Nice hit from the tour. Bad control from my shield here. But okay. I'm outranked here now. You see it. The range from the Jaguars is much more higher than the range from the Zeus without boosts. I also use my Vertex here because the Jaguars are out of uh, a good position. No anti airs here. So, and now he's coming with porcupines, and now I will go in front with my Zeus. So, Super D is now on the way back in the life, but he needs time. 
He needs time. Rifleman spam now in the red player's base. Yeah, the strongest man here was the yellow player. The yellow player is this guy with the 82 rate. I'm not sure, but he is a strong player. The red player is a little bit weaker. I have to leave this position. I have no chance here. Send it up my vertex, but nothing is coming here. I was hoping he will follow my Zeus and Typhoon and will try to kill them and then my Vertex can pick up some units but no. Okay. Going to a safe position. Sometimes it's better to leave a attack. And um, yeah, group up with more units before you will attack again. So non-stop unit production. Also taunts in production. Taunts are very good against the uh, Spam of army. So, my next group is coming. I also have my Tor. And Super they say he needs some, need some time. Yes, I know it. You need some time. And look at this. The yellow player is very smart. He sent all his alligators he had left to the red player. To give the red player anti air against my tour, and I lost all my tours. Yeah, and from time to time, he killed his alligators to have more blaze for other units. But this was very smart, very bad for me. So, super, do you want um, flam mans? But he will do it. I have not the resources to build up out of flam mans now. Hawks scouted out super the space. Try to kill this hawk with the vertex. You see yellow player have a jaguar there. Yellow player is going for land now. And he will kill alligators now. To have more place for land units. Another hawk. Hmm, I don't know what the red player is doing there. He sent out his hawks. As meat for my vertex. Thank you very much. And here, yeah, still non stop units in production. And again, I have a little army here. And what's going on up there? Ooh, some jaguars and porcupines from the red player. I think they gather the army. To attack us together. I have to try to defend me and Super Dino. I can't attack the red player now. That's a bad idea. So go in position. And now you see how useful the turns are when so much units are on one point, they make a lot of damage. Then the turns are very nice. I also built it up some riflemans against the riflemans from the red player. And the yellow player is coming with Chameleon to help out his partner. So I have to force fire into the cloud with all that I have. Tor, bam, nice hit here. Killed the chameleon and killed the army from these two players. So and now let's go and try to attack the red player's base now. He lost the most of his army against my army. So I also built up some uh, towers into the ray, super D space, to defense him. And here have still some alligators here in the ocean. Save my cyclone here. It's a nice scout on the hill to see what's going up. So, 
try to uh, scout out the yellow player's base now with my vertex. And he's annoying with his alligator and kill my bunkers here. So it was useless to build them up. The yellow player is a smart player. Yeah. Two recall factories for Jaguars and two special legal factories for porcupines and chameleons. Yeah, I think Super D will be back soon. He needed long, long, long time. But he will help me out now. So, build up some construction yards. Maybe I need some vaults. Defend me and Super D. Super D is spamming now. Grenadier's assaults and. Uh, Flame Mans. Yo there. We'll try to attack Super D now and BAM! That was a very nice hit. And so the, the, the base from Super D is defended again. So the alligator from the yellow player are mostly destroyed by himself. So I can use my Avia now and don't have to fear the anti-air. So try to attack the red player now. Hawks, Assaults, Jaguars, Porcupines and Chameleons. I have some uh, Typhons in the mix. And here. Still no boost, as I said. Yeah, a lot of riflemans here. What a spam of riflemans from the red player. So I'll send it out my uh, tour to attack this cloud. Bam! And again, solid hit. Killed all units in the cloud. Only two Jaguars are left. Still non stop unit production. Super D is on the way to help me out against this rifleman spam. What the red player is doing here. It's the only thing he can do now to defend himself. So, save my shields. Turn them on and look at this mess here. Yeah, super you want that I attack this sniper towers and I do that with one or two Zeus and the rest of my units. Attack the units from the red player. While Super D is coming up here with the flame towers to help me out. That's the best what he could do against this uh, assaults. They really nerf me. In this mess, it's, it's very hot. So, Super D is there, and now let's see what will happen. Let's kill this last sniper tower. Nice. So. Super D is back in business. Still non stop unit production. Now I build them up in the base to defend us against attacks from the yellow player. The yellow player will try to help out his partner. Send it out my Tor to attack the Avia field and factory from the red player. Shield is also there for the flamethrowers. So I'm not out my vertex because the red player have no more anti-air in his base. Come on, let's try to kill this chameleon. Come on, get it. Ah. But it's very high damaged. We 
Yeah, super they said it was me, but uh, we are a team. And without this flame tours, I uh, had very big problems against this uh, rifleman spam. And against two players, yellow and red. That's very hard. Without boosts and with a lower rank. So try to force fire here into the cloud, but yeah, my army is dead now, so only the uh, spam of assaults, flame draws and grenades from Superlease left here, but that's enough. Send out all my AVR against the yellow player now. Let's try to bomb down his factories with my tours. Look at this, his factories are very, very strong. Bam! Killed it. Bam! Also, let's try to kill this communion. Nice! And now back into the base. So, and Super D is annoying here in the red player's base. The red player have only a special little factory for porcupines left. I send out now the rest of my crowned units. I let only a handful of units left in the base to defend us maybe when the yellow player will try to attack us but I think now he will try to defend himself first. So yeah I said to Super D I have so much resources left and yeah it's time. Time for a big boom before we left this game. Send out all my tours again. And try to bring out again some factories. Also with the vertex here because I know the factories from the yellow player are very strong. Bam. And bam. Come on, kill this blight center. And super D want me the yellow player. Build it up Barracudas. I think he do Barracudas to defend himself and to attack Super D's base with the big range from the Barracudas and maybe also my base. The buildings near to the water are maybe able to attack by uh, Barracuda. So Super Reaper in production and again my tours are out and I located that he built it up again factories and again I will use my vertex to support my tours. Bam. Again one more factory is dead. Yeah it's very good to kill the factories. Factories are the most important buildings. And after the factory, the HQ is coming, and then the rest. So, my army is in position, and there's coming the space strike. Let's see how much damage I can do. Bam! Very nice. So, the red player tried to come back, but yeah, no. And a second space strike is coming, but yeah guys, what I can say, that's it, that, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up and ask an abonnement. I hope you liked it to see us playing without boosts and take this challenge. That was a challenge for us and you guys all know, I hate easy fights. I love the challenge, I like it. And there's coming a last and second space strike to give him the rest. But GG from For the Yellow Blair, he did very well. So, and that's it, guys. We will see us on the next time. Bye!